Yeah, absolutely. That's what it's all about. It's it's it's, it's their individual responsibility. Always has been. No guru or anyone can take you there. No, no one can lead you to the the path of your own salvation other than yourself. I'm a firm believer in the idea of the mono myth that we all have to take a trip into the darkness in order to find the great secret, and from that great secret, share that uh, discovery with uh, the rest of humanity. And that's what I'm a firm believer in that. And uh, I don't want to live any other way because that's a heroic path. I'll never, I've never been, I don't, I'm very uncomfortable in groups. I'm, I've never had a leader. I don't like them. I don't like the idea. I just don't, I just like being left alone. I'm a pirate. That's like, I've got the mentality of a pirate in that way. Um, I don't want to be a part of anyone's gang or anyone's movement because uh, once you're in there, that allows structure. When you have structure, you have control. And when you have control, that's when the pathological individuals come, can come in and twist it according to their agenda. Okay, well, let me ask you another question, Thomas. Knowing what you know and your experiences with sociopaths, how do you keep a positive attitude in your interactions with others? Uh, in, in other words, allowing people to get close, but how do you um, you know, guard your emotions, so to speak, if I'm using the right terminology, so you don't keep getting basically your face pushed against the brick wall for, you know, living a unique lifestyle or saying unique words or thoughts. Well, for me, it's humor. That's what it's always been for me. I've, I, I've got an outrageous sense of humor and, uh, I, I love all that stuff. And, uh, that has a fantastic effect because that exposes who the lunatics are around you because, uh, Normal people, all, I found that all over the world, that normal, healthy people all over the world have a basic sense of humor that is almost like a, a language that anyone can speak in. It's almost like it's born out of having certain experiences in your life and having a full personality and having having had the good and the bad. And so um, I, I, I use humor actually as a kind of a, an almost like an antivirus program in my life. It will, it will get rid of the, the dogmatics and the crazies uh, who can't uh, be flexible in their thought and need leadership and they need to control other people's point of views. At the same time, uh, I'm a firm believer that like a good joke or, or, or the idea of like calling out the emperor's new clothes or taking the piss out of someone, as we say in this part of the world, is a fantastic thing. It's the great leveler. It's always worked very well for me in my life and uh, it, al it always will. And I, I, that's how I protect myself because uh, a lot of these types, these pathological types, they don't handle humor very well at all. They, a lot of them don't get it, I find. A lot of them do not get humor. They don't, they don't, they don't get it. They don't get satire. They take things very, very literally and they don't understand the idea of a satirical story or a comment that's, that's put out almost like a kind of a, a parable. They actually think these people, when I'm talking about these things, I'm talking about things I really did or said. Like, you know, I always tell a joke about like being on the moon with a, I ran a, I was a, I ran a brothel on the moon. They would actually think that that really happened. They're unable to see the humor in that. They're only going to say that I'm actually put, creating this absurd situation to insert myself into it in order to make a commentary about the absurdity of society, the kind of the the kind of the the, the Joker in the pack. Because remember that the Joker and the court jester is the only one who could mock the king and live, and that's a big thing in my life. And that 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 usually frightens a lot of them away. That's a big thing for me because it, and then it also it's good because it gets idiots out of my life as well. People who are too stupid to understand jokes and that kind of thing. And it gets me surrounded by people that I feel very comfortable with. I built up, you know, like I could, I built up a kind of a, a, a bunch, a support to be supporters club around me, which increasingly are more and more people who are more and more a similar personality to me because they they've had the same they've had hard lives, the difficult things happen in their lives, they have to struggle a lot in their lives, and they understand the power of outrageous humour in sort of medicating the, the pain away. And so mm -hmm. these are often the very healthy people. So I've, I'm, I'm very proud that I'm, I'm filtering that more and more, and to the point where I have that. And I've got, I've gotten rid of like most of the flakes. And the, 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 although we had some the other day telling me the earth was flat, but we get, I've got most of the sort of like space cadets. I've got rid of an awful lot of them now, and I'm down to a kind of a core of people who are kind of well balanced, and they get it, they get it, they get it, and that that means an awful lot to me. That's funny. I had someone sending me some information about the Earth being flat too in multiple messages on YouTube and Facebook. 
<laughs> I think it was a documentary. Maybe perhaps it's the same person. <laughs> No, I think there's a bit of a thing going on. I, I think I have, a, I have a conspiracy theory about that at the moment. It's suddenly, there's this whole idea of the flat earth has flooded the alternative scene at the moment. I'm, ne- I'm literally convinced it's a, a, it's some kind of university research program or in- intelligence services, a, shall we say, a sabotage weapon. So when they actually come to pointing us out and they can say things like, you know, if we're pointing out something that's really serious, like, you know, I don't know, anything, po- uh, something in politics or anything, they can turn around and say, but look, these are all the same nuts who are into the, uh, they're into the, they believe the earth is flat. These people who are actually pushing this flat earth idea, they're, they're, they're so mad and they're so dangerous. We must route them out of this movement like a cancer because they're going, they're going to bring a whole lot of us down with them. 